Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to learn about FortiProxy, Fortinet's Secure Web Gateway. FortiProxy is a secure web gateway that protects against internet-born attacks by incorporating multiple detection techniques such as web, video, DNS filtering, data loss prevention, antivirus, intrusion prevention, and client browser isolation. Let us understand how packet flow works with explicit proxy. When explicit web proxy is enabled on a FORTI proxy, proxy based inspection occurs based on the traffic type. If the traffic is encrypted with HTTPS, then it passes to the explicit web proxy for decryption and then the decrypted traffic passes in parallel to the both IPS engine and explicit web proxy for content scanning. If the IPS engine and explicit proxy do not detect any security threats, then the proxy re-encrypts the traffic and the FORTI proxy unit relays the content to its destination. If the threat is detected, then the FORTI proxy unit can block the threat and replace it with replacement message. FORTI proxy has many security use cases, but today in this demo, I'm going to cover below use cases, web filtering, application control, antivirus, DLP, web caching, and content analysis. For the demo purpose, I'm using FortiProxy VM, but Fortinet offers most flexible solution with hardware VM covering private and public clouds. First, let's check out on FortiGuard tab which will give what all services and subscriptions are licensed. We can see core security subscriptions are enabled. Many of them are not aware that our FortiGuard AI ML cloud delivered services will update in real time. Updates can be scheduled every hour, daily or weekly based on the customer use case. Security can be more scalable with the below options to improve your IPS and antivirus scanning. Next, we move to the feature visibility tab, which, where we can customize what features to be enabled on the FORTI proxy. Here, I enable most of the core features as well as security features. Next, we'll go over with LDAP server. I have added an LDAP server with different organization units and users part of it to restrict the user accessibility and controls. We can add different user groups to our domain name server and also users. Next, we'll see the security profile configuration under security profile tab. First, we'll take a look web filtering profile for facilities organization. FortiGuard category based filter can customize the categories to allow block and monitor. On the application control, I have created a customized applications to block with social media restrictions. The lock icon indicates these applications need SSL deep inspection. DLP protects sensitive data from leaving your network. Ensure data privacy and regulatory compliance requirements. The facilities DLP filter has rules for HTTP POST and GET. Also, we can filter by regular expression or file patterns or from other filters. Content analysis enforces acceptable usage by detecting and preventing illicit images and videos with AI-driven content analysis. With the addition of content design and reconstruction service, you can reduce mean time to detection with low latency content sanitization. Now, we need to create a security policy with all security profiles for the facilities group. On the policy, I enabled web proxy under explicit proxy, an outgoing interface. I have enabled the web cache for both HTTP and HTTPS and security profiles for facilities with logging all the sessions and policies enabled. Last step is to configure web proxy. I have added my incoming port from my client, FortiProxy proxy supports pack file configuration. 
PAC is a text file that instructs a browser to forward traffic to a proxy server instead of directly to the destination server. With all these configurations, let's test out from the client connected to 4D proxy. We need to configure proxy setting on the browser. Select HTTP and HTTPS use the proxy. Let us dive into our first use case, application filtering. Access facebook.com application and Facebook is blocked in our app control under social media restrictions and we can see the replacement message is blocked. Use case 2 is web filtering. I'm going to access youtube.com where all streaming media and downloads are blocked by our web filtering services to the facilities group. Next try gambling website like Mega Millions and we can see it is also blocked to the group. Finally, I'm going to try another dating website, for example, Tinder, and it is also blocked by our web filtering service. The next use case, we're gonna see antivirus. This is the most common use case where I'm going directly to icar.com and downloading icar AV file and we can see it is blocked by our antivirus. The next use case is data loss prevention. Here, I'm going to a public website and there I'm trying to download a sample SSN file and we can see it is blocked by our DLP filtering on the 40 proxy. And the last use case is content analysis. With the gun culture, predominantly happening. If a user want to see different types of guns available on the web and when they browse those images, then they can only see the Fortinet logo. That means it's blocked with our AI driven content analysis. Now we covered all the security use cases. Let us go back to Forti proxy to see the visibility it provides. Log and report section provides complete visibility of the traffic logs and security logs. Forward traffic shows all the network traffic happening on the device. For example, Facebook was blocked and we can see in log details the policy ID, application, category and status. Antivirus log shows the ICAR test file is being blocked and when we click on the raw log shows it's a critical threat level and it is blocked by the policy and also we can see the file name icar.com. On web filtering, we can see all the URLs which we used in the test are blocked. DLP shows the log that it is blocked with the filter type, category and the URL details from the public website. I want to touch base on WAN optimization and web cache. Forti proxy is also able to greatly optimize and accelerate the network by enabling caching of content and by enabling WAN optimization feature. Cache monitor shows how much of the traffic is cached and non-cached. With this, we completed Forti proxy and its use cases. Thank you for watching this demo and hope you had an idea how to leverage Forti proxy to secure our organization.